Come on. Out you go. Again? Well, look who it is. You here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here... <laughs> oh, fuck. We'd love to stay in chat, but Rude and I are busy people. She'll be more than happy to keep you company, though. Now play nice, shit birds. I'll show you what I can do. Ready when you are. Take over. My turn. Go for it, guys. Do it. Here goes. Great 
For long it isn't. You willing to step up for us? To do this again. You can do it. Go I'll show it. you what I can do. <laughs> it's your turn. Let's do this. <laughs> Yeah. 
Let's dance, asshole. The Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. As you are aware, simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors. Unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas. Organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> Oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wu Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> 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 Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. <laughs> I expect you all 
to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. Yeah? Let me in! Um, Elmira? Zack, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried. And now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. <sighs> I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah. I can do that much. That's Aerith's, uh... Yes, I know. Huh? Aerith! She okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? <sighs> hey, Elmira. Yes? What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation.
Okay. Yep. So how'd recon go? All clear. <laughs> we managed to catch. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. That's it. The Corel Reactor. Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. Huh. Well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <sighs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock. His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, BAM! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good! <laughs> but... why the interim? Because, once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going!
Oh, like all that stuff down there is Mako? Yep. Then it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia. Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary. Oh my god, what the f is that? Creatures set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? We'll keep moving. Hey, not cool. This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning. Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is, and talking won't stop him. 